Oh hi guys, uh, it's been a week or two since I last did a blog, so I'm sorry for being a bit behind. Um, uh, so look, I'll try and cover what's happened the last couple of weeks and where I'm going to be going moving forward with my Learning Futures project. Um, last week I attended the 7th Wave Conference uh, that was held here at Swinburne University of Technology. Uh, the 7th Wave Conference is a learning and teaching conference for academic and professional staff of Swinburne University and that's across all levels so that includes uh, TAFE, uh, our college and also our high edu higher education programs. Uh, I thought it was an outstanding two-day event and there were some fantastic uh, presentations by speakers from a number of universities uh, and also uh, from the uh, industry sector. Um, some of those are available, some of the decks are available uh, uh, publicly. Um, um, most of the decks are available uh, for internal access for, uh, for uh, academic staff of Swinburne University. So that was um, last week. So moving forward, um, where we are today, it's uh, Friday the 26th of September. And I've just heard late this afternoon that my ethics has um, pretty much been approved. I've had to do some minor amendments, which comes very much with uh, the ethics approval, appro uh, ethics approval process in academia. Um, so I'm just waiting on that email to come through. It's 3.15 now, so I'm hoping that'll come through in the next hour or so. So providing that's through, I can then um, launch straight into primary research phase one on campus and that will cover or that will roll out for the me the rest of semester two uh, right through from now until the end of October. Uh, and in that phase I will be um, handing out uh, 25 tablets just like this one, uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, tablets. Uh, to my students, um, or to some of my students uh, are uh, here on campus, and they will be um, working with those tablets in a learning capacity for the rest of the semester. And at the end of the semester, I will then uh, uh, um, run a survey and also do some uh, interviews with the students. Uh, to get their feedback on whether there has been any benefits or uh, not at all from the use of supply technology and I will compare that to interviews taken with students who bring their own technology to again see if there's any been any benefits or or not uh, through through the use and adoption of mobile technology within uh, my discipline um, so what else so that's really exciting I'm Really, really happy to have got to this stage. It's been a struggle in a sense, but I'm sort of proud to have actually got here. Um, also underway is the extensive lit review. Um, I've been working with my research assistant, uh, who has been uh, exemplary in her ability to pull together a, a significant amount of literature around the topic, and I'm slowly going through that. Um, and believe me, that's taking a while. Um, there's a little bit of a, uh, I'm under a little bit of a pressure, a little bit of pressure in that, in that area because I'm hoping to uh, draft up at least the first journal article um, by the 13th of October. I'm hoping to meet that deadline and I'm aiming for it, so we'll see how we go. Um, I'm aiming to get uh, a publication into a journal, a peer reviewed journal, and the deadline is the 13th of October, so. Um, as you probably understand for those academics who are listening to this blog, it's um, pertinent um, to the project and also to an academic career. And then immediately after that, I'm on, en route to Sydney to attend uh, a national conference entitled Blended Learning, and that's being held at the Novotel in Sydney. And most of the speakers there will be senior academics uh, who have a specialism in the uh, blended learning uh, technology in terms of innovation, in terms of learning and teaching area. And so I'm really quite excited to be going to that. Um, and that's about it for where I am. Um, beyond that, as I might have mentioned in my last blog, I'm hoping to get to a, uh, a workshop at the University of Technology in Sydney in November, but that's a little way away at this stage. So that's where I am uh, at this juncture. Um, thanks for listening in. And hopefully 
I'll, excuse me, I'll talk to you again uh, next week.